Hey yo, what is up guys? It is Master Mike 24 and before we start this video, I just want to say that we are doing a V-Bucks giveaway for 1,000 V-Bucks. It can be for PC, Xbox, or PlayStation, it doesn't matter. All you gotta do is subscribe, like, and comment, and yeah, thanks for watching and see this awesome Blitz mode. Okay, so my audio messed up, but uh, what we do in this is we land by the Root Lake route that I've been doing. I'm pretty sure I did a video when I was doing this route as well. We just land on top of this hill. It was pretty simple. Um, I personally really like this Blitz mode. Uh, it's, you know, because I like the concept of it. Because you always have to be in action. Since certain places in the map you won't be able to go to since how quickly zone comes. And uh, I see this chest and I'm going to instantly grab it so that I can go to the campsite. I'm surprised the one other dude that was flying right near me did not land there. Just because he was already a skydiver and like it's going to take him forever to like go to the uh, tilted to towers or wherever he was going. And right now I got some impulse nades and um, an assault rifle. Not really much else to say about that. But we do get a tactical over here. I'm almost positive and I was just checking map and what I was thinking right now is we got I'm not gonna do the loot leg going over there because I'm gonna expecting a lot of people from Pleasant Park that landed there to start coming out relatively soon once they get like one house and I'm not picking up this assault rifle just because and uh, I forgot what we get in this chest actually so oh yeah C4 and I was thinking to get a C4, so there is going to be a lot cutted in this video because I was camping a little bit to see if I could get a C4 kill. And this is why I was thinking, should I go to Loot Lake? And I, yeah, overall I decide not to just because too many people from Pleasant Park are probably going to come here. And also Tilted was definitely an option for me. And I was like, you know what, let's start heading over by like Dusty Depot. More in the middle of the zone because I relatively think it was going to probably end there. And I hear some gun shooting, I'm like, okay that's normal probably from tilted but it actually it is not it's this one dude down here shooting at this one guy once we go down this hill and i do see him i don't understand how he could not hear me but uh it was a pretty simple kill like i dropped and he still didn't hear me and i was like i just put him up there and i saw he was shooting shooting at that dude by the hill and i'll make a cut now because he wasn't there he dipped so yeah see the next clip Oh yeah, I forgot I had one check. Okay. Now, what we're doing here is pretty much, I ran away from that dude and we landed, we went to this little house and you're about to see what's about to happen. This dude just tries to run out of that tree and I get him with a burst. Pretty simple kill right there. He had, he had a green assault and that was about it. I really did not expect that at all. He got the jump on me, but that was a pretty easy kill. In my opinion, then we just start camping here. I play some C4. Um, nothing happened, as you can see, because I just cut it. And this is when I start leaving. I start leaving make, because I thought I did hear someone. And I think I was going to use that launch pad, but I was deciding not to just be. I don't want to get sniped at this point. Uh, so I start running over once I like. I'm trying to figure out where I should go at this point. I think I waited a little bit too long. I probably should just start moving. But I was kind of checking, making sure my recording's well and stuff. Um, didn't check my audio, of course, because it's still messed up. I'll try to fix that. I'm going to get a better mic soon, too, so my audio is actually good. So I'm going to that house, but I saw, like, some people building, and I was maybe trying to see if I could maybe hit them with the burst or something. I didn't really know what to do at this point. Since there is someone in that brick base, and I want to make sure that he wasn't there, and I just saw that person building in the metal base, I did not want to get sniped if I ran over to that house, maybe trying to make that as my base. And so I go over there, and um, as you can see, once in about five seconds, there is a Care Bear looking motherfucker. I did not cuss. YouTube, don't monetize me. But I see this guy, and I don't understand why this happens so often. People just stand there and do absolutely nothing. Like, what are you doing? And I think, I'm, yeah, I'm about to cut again because there's not much I was doing. I was just looting him. 
And okay, so I was here for a second just seeing at the end of the zone. We made it to the top 10, it looks like right now. Right now, excuse me. And I'm gonna start going down a little bit more because zone is gonna hit me at this point once it starts coming down again, like really quickly. You know what I mean? Like 30 seconds again. I was kind of trying to see where's everybody at, and I saw that base up there, of course. I knew someone was up there, and then I see the supply drop, and I'm like, you know, if no one goes for it, I'm going to go for it. Because if someone goes for it, I'm going to try and kill him, and then get whatever he has. Um, I was just really looking to see what are the bases going to be at. Who is, that's what I like doing. I try to like scan um, where people are definitely going to be at. And I see someone, um, I saw did someone go up that hill, I thought he, and there was an attack there, but not much, you know, I'm like, okay, no one's clearly going for the supply drop, so I'm gonna go for it once I see, once I, that dude's done building. And I, at this point, I was like, please have a shield or a chug jug or anything so I can be full max health or something, and, or even a rocket launcher, that'd be really nice. And what we get is a legendary scar, a slurp, some minis, and a cozy campfire. At this point, that's like literally the best thing I could get at this point. I probably should have drink the minis first, and I was being pretty stupid there, but I was just really trying to be quick with this. The zone is gonna, of course, come in. And as you, as you're about to see, I tr kind of trapped myself by doing this, but I really think this was the best way for me to possibly win this match. Is place the cozy campfire down to put me at 100 HP because I feel like if I didn't do this there would have been no chance for me to even win this game I, just, I mean I just go back to full and then I think wow okay I'll still be able to go up this hill pretty easily actually it was it was still easy but I mean I almost could have trapped myself there I almost did I almost did trap myself uh, I started building, and I'm like, can I do this without getting in zone? I was trying to make sure the building was alright, and it was, but it re that really could have messed me up there, and um, I probably could have played that a little bit better, but still. I thought I heard someone at this point, but I gotta start building up. Anyways, there was no point. I started moving my inventory around case I wanted to impulse grenade somebody. Uh, and what I don't see right here, so he gets the first shot on me. This guy, he definitely does get the first shot on me. And I shouldn't have let this happen, but he did get the first shot on me. Uh, you know, I thought this was actually going to be really easy because I did not expect him to rush me like this. And I wasn't really looking at my surroundings since he built it up and I assumed he was coming there. He got him from the side, and that's a GG. But thanks for watching guys and make sure to subscribe. Peace.